know, to do that, to conquer the world, was to have a new Pearl Harbor. And what happened, I mean, the people that were members of this were like Cheney and the Bush family and all these, you know, morons um, that you see on Fox News and stuff like Crackhammer or whatever that guy's name is that's always on Fox News. You have to understand that this think tank had the same address as Fox News, or sorry, not Fox News, the Weekly Standard, which is also owned by Rupert Murdoch, and half the people in the Weekly Standard are regular guests on the Fox News uh, shows. I mean, do, does anybody even remember that this happened? I mean, let me just sum this up for you. I write about this extensively in my book, Corporatism, just page after page of meticulous data and detail. And people in the conspiracy movement used to talk about this, but I guess we've all forgot it or something. But let me just sum up what this means for you. It means that the secret planners, uh, you know, the low level of the New World Order, the, the people that are actually carrying out the plans of the secret government are the same people that run the mass media, okay? And now all of a sudden those same people are saying the same things that people like Alex Jones says, and a half of you conspiracy theorists are going along with it saying, oh my gosh, they're on our side now. They woke up. What a complete joke is what I have to say. I mean, how can we not put these details together? I mean, we just are we just so full of fear and anger that all we care about is just let's attack the whoever did 9/11. You don't even none of you even know who did 9/11, okay? You saw a bunch of, you know, TV images that didn't make any sense and you started screaming, "Oh, George Bush did it or oh, you know, this person did it or CIA did it or um, Wolfowitz did it or whatever and my response to you is oh yeah who do you even know who wired the buildings you know for the dumb controlled demolition or you know if or the uh, I mean there is evidence of controlled demolition in the trade centers I know that the, the best theory out there is that you know he had directed energy weapons I do realize that but there is evidence for both of those existing including on uh, you know, depleted uranium or something being laced inside the building. So, I mean, you've got several things that appear to have been going on all at once. you got all the conspiracy theorists fighting about, you know, which is right, directed energy weapons versus, you know, um, controlled nu nukes and all this kind of, you know, micro nukes and so forth. It appears that there's evidence for both, so there's several things going on. But anyways, I mean, none of you even know. I mean, to do 9-11 took a lot of work. To do it is an inside job, Okay. Who shot the plane down in Pennsylvania, all right? Who flew the missile or plane or or whatever it was that was going over the Pentagon to fire the missile into the Pentagon or whatever it was that exploded in the Pentagon? Who did all that, okay? There was a demolition that also happened at the Pentagon about, what was it, a half hour afterwards where part of the building collapsed. Who controlled that demolition, okay? I mean, who are these people? None of you even know. So who are you going to throw in jail? You're all riled up. Saying, let's get the criminals. 9-11 is an inside job. Let's get them. Let's get them. Yeah, you don't even know who all these people are. All you are is just filled with fear and anger, and you just want someone to attack, and you don't even know what you're doing. You can't even sit down for two seconds and think about it. Why do I say this? Because I used to be there. I used to be so afraid and so full of fear and so full of anger that I couldn't even think straight. Well, now I've been a conspiracy theorist for about eight years, and I finally can sit down and think logically and rationally about this to realize that the whole conspiracy movement needs to chill out, slow down, and think because we, we don't know even a percent of what's going on but maybe we sat down and think and work together and used empirical analysis we could figure it out i mean one of the things that's really got me about how i know that this is the time of the fake revolution is specifically that the template that i've drawn up for it that anybody can discover is that they specific the specific thing about it is they tell you the truth <laughs> the truth about some things to do with them Okay, and what did Glenn Beck just say on that um, talk with, I should play a clip of that, talk with Napolitano, he says the government is trying to create revolt. Okay, he's that's exactly the same thing that this cycle of history is. Okay, so but he's trying to tell you, you know, oh, they're trying to get you, you know, the government is Obama and it's at that level, that's as high as it goes, and they're trying to get you to revolt because they're so bad and see but what he so he's not actually saying so he's that's that's true all that but what he's leaving out is that that's just the puppet government the fake government the real government has several layers to it of increasing power behind that and they're doing this on purpose for 
to sort of create the turn the world into some sort of dark theater of chaos and revolt globally. This is the next phase, just like with World War II, of this cycle should be a global phase where everybody, everywhere in the world is going to attack uh, the, um, the New World Order system. But that's what's really got me. The main thing I've had to look out for in this pattern is when they really start telling you the truth, okay? <laughs> You've got Geraldo Rivera talking about World Trade Center 7, saying he's open to the idea that 9-11 is an inside job. Right in prime time on Fox News. I mean, that show has so many millions of listeners. I mean, it's like all, all kinds of... I forwarded that to all kinds of people. People in my family and so forth. People, you know, that radio... Listeners of my radio show. And so many of them came back and said, Yeah, I happened to be watching Fox and I saw that. I mean, they've got so many listeners. Viewers, that is, to that to their prime time net, um, Fox News show. And, and they're putting that right there in prime time. It is truly unbelievable that this is happening. Okay, it's it's the start of the fake revolution, and I've been telling you almost nobody. I've got so many conspiracy theorists emailing me hate mail, and I had one talking about how I need to have a bullet put in my head, or in the YouTube comments and stuff. I mean, so we're getting into you know sort of threat kind of stuff. You're just getting insane just because. I am using my eyes, okay? And you know why they're so angry? Because they are doing what people do. They're falling into hero worship. They've got a hero, some guru in the conspiracy movement, you know, Alex Jones or something that says something different than me. Then they don't want to think for themselves. They don't want to use their eyes. They want to have their hero. And if anybody disagrees with their hero, oh, they hate them and they need to be killed. You know, how is this any different than, you know, dark age thinking? You know, stone the person who's a non-believer, is basically the way, the, the kind of thinking this is. You know, it's so, so, so much for an enlightened renaissance. All we This revolution is coming, and it's going to be, people will think that it's, you know, people revolting against the real enemy, and it's totally a pre-planned fake revolution, totally run by the Illuminati. Fake, 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 faker than fake. The whole thing is fake. The whole world, the whole social world you live in, is a fake, pre-planned, choreographed Illuminati ritual. And if you don't know that, that just means that you're part of the ritual and you haven't figured it out yet. So I'm sorry to be all riled up here and sort of coarse with the, all of you in the show, but it's just, it's upsetting, you know? This is so easy <laughs> to figure out. All you have to do is stop listening to others and start looking at the world. So few people do this. I remember when I was still teaching, just to just... Tell my undergrads, if you want to understand the world, stop listening to what people say. Just simply use your eyes and observe critically, and you will. It's very, very simple. I mean, I got to tell you, though, people, this is really scary and sad. It almost looks like, I mean, you've seen a lot of my videos I've done. The one that called, you know, the the um, conspiracy movement was created by the Illuminati. That one's right in my Antimatter Radio YouTube channel main page. I mean, and a lot of that and a lot of the stuff that I've just said here shows really that all along the main group doing the work for the Illuminati, not, they didn't know it. It was just, uh, uh, you know, it's just that we didn't know how things were going to go. The main group doing the work for the Illuminati is the conspiracy movement. So it's just really ironic that this is how it is, but this appears to be the case. They want us to know who they are. They're taking off the mask. That's why they created the internet on, you know, without any more censorship than it has in order that that'll happen. They knew it would turn into a hive of conspiracy buzz all over the place. And that, you know, all this stuff of they're, you know, they're going to censor the internet and take it or take the internet down. People say, and they don't want us to expose them is total fake garbage. Never was true because they actually want the opposite. They want us to know who they are. That's why all their mainstream movies coming out of, Zionist Hollywood, not all, I mean, you know, huge amounts of them are disclosing who they are. You know, even quoting Seymour Hirsch, how unbelievable is that? The, Seymour Hirsch is the guy who wrote in the New York Times, or some paper, I can't remember, he's a mass media journalist re discussing Dick Cheney's assassin squads. And, you know, I remember a lot of people in the mass, or in the mass media, the, in, sorry, in the conspiracy movement, made a huge deal when Hirsch came out with that, but now it looks like, well, that's just part of the plan. The mass media is being used now to expose the same things that, for example, Alex Jones has been exposing, and it's all by design. And I hate to say it, but uh, the empirical 
uh, templates of the new called the New World Order wants the New World Order to fail uh, has been describing this all along. So anyway, I think that's all I wanted to say. That's um, I just wonder what all of you think uh, about this. This is it's all happening now. The fake revolution is is going on now. It's at its you know I guess early beginning stages or something. So it's going to be quite amazing to see. But it's going to be run by the Illuminati, and nobody's going to hardly anybody's going to know it. And if any of you disagree, well, people are going to hate you. And it's just going to be like the Dark Ages, where if you don't agree, the people are going to want to slice you up. Just like half the conspiracy movement hates me, because I don't go along with all their hero worship and all their New Age philosophy. And, you know, all their hate, because they just want to hate the enemy and attack the New World Order, not even knowing what they're doing. So anyway, I don't really care, though. I'm not in this for fame. I'm not in this for money anymore. I used to be in it for money, but not you know to support my family. I'm not even in, for, in it for that anymore. I'm just in it because... I want the truth and I want safety and freedom, you know, who who cares about anything else but those things, you know, if you're in this for fame or something like that, you have missed the boat and just stop broadcasting because you're misleading everybody. I'm not saying, you know, that you specifically are, but you know, if any of you out there are doing that, it's just, come on, let's just help each other. Nothing feels better than helping each other. It feels a whole lot better than the silly game of trying to seek fame and money and so forth. So anyway, Take care, everyone. My website is antimatterradio.com. YouTube channel, antimatter, or sorry, is uh, youtube.com slash antimatterradio. And the radio network that me and some friends run is called is located at blogtalkradio.com slash antimatterzone. So take care, everyone. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. My name is Jeffrey Grubb.